Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a buy it or pass it video. I'm so excited to be doing one of these. I feel like I haven't done it in forever. Um, I really haven't paid too much attention to the new releases. Uh, so I definitely had to go through on uh, Trim Moods page on Instagram and kind of see what the 101 is on new releases. So any pictures that you see are definitely from her website. Also, this series was created uh, by Samantha March. She has a Will I Buy It series. I love videos like this. She also has a community playlist. That way, if this is your type of jam, you can definitely go check out that playlist and it shows different creators that do this type of video. Before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I would love to have you. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will have have those all listed down below as well. So I do have some things here that we need to talk about. I'm going to scoot over so I can put little pictures uh, of them up next to me. Uh, I guess first and foremost the biggest release that I can see is of course from Jeffree Star, the Orgy collection. Yeah. Uh, so there are two palettes, a big one and a mini. There's of course um, lip glosses, the Nude Mini Lipstick Vault for uh, 25 shades, that's $160. Uh, setting powders, Velour Liquid Lipstick. Uh, there's like, you know, hoodies and shorts and blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. All right, so this is definitely going to be a pass for me, and there's going to be a couple different reasons. Um, first of all, I'm kind of backing away from Jeffree Star at this time. Um, that whole Shane Dawson, J Jeffree Star drama just... I, oh, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. We're just going to leave it at that. Secondly, the names in this palette are so risque. Um, I don't exactly want to be saying them on my channel uh, because of the fact I do have some of my nieces watching my videos and I just don't think that is appropriate. Um, the colors, of course, are absolutely stunning. The lipsticks are stunning. The lip glosses are stunning. But... Uh, at this time, definitely going to be a pass. Okay, so the next collection is from ColourPop. This is ColourPop times Candyland. I think this is so adorable. So they're calling it ColourPop Land. Um, if you were a big fan of uh, Candyland, like I was, this kind of like rings a bell. It's true to home for me. So um, they have a eyeshadow palette, which is so freaking cute. The eyeshadow palette is called Candy Castle for $18. Uh, they have the Lolly Princess Lolly Roller Glosses for $9. The Swirled Super Shock Blushes for $9. Um, the, the names of these are so cute. So they got Jolly, Gummy More, Gumdrop Pass. Uh, they have lip balms, Mr. Mint, Let's Chill, and Peppermint Frost for $9 each. Uh, Queen Frosting Pixie Puff Highlighter for $15. Or the Fill and Plumpy 4th Ray Beauty Face Milk Kit for $22. This is just so adorable. That little mint green is like screaming my name. <sighs> it's so cute. It's so cute. I know the moment I get it though, they're gonna move on to the next collection because the next items we're gonna talk about is more stuff from ColourPop. But I might have to get at least one item <laughs> just for some nostalgia purposes. And of course, it probably might be the eyeshadow palette because you guys know I love eyeshadow palettes. And the packaging on this is so cute. All right, so if you guys had to choose one item from this collection, what would it be? I just want to know. That way I can see if we're all, you know, thinking the same thing here. Do I go with the eyeshadow palettes? Do I go with lip gloss? Do I go with a blush? What's your, what's your opinion? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. Okay, so the next collection that we're going to talk about, of course, is still from ColourPop. They're coming out with the Disney's Mulan uh, makeup collection set. So you have an eyeshadow palette, uh, blushes, looks like lip gloss, a lipstick. They also have like a lip mask and then, of course, a little Mulan fan accessory. While I think this is really cute and I really do enjoy Disney's Mulan, I think that is a fantastic movie. Um... Just something about this doesn't scream out to me. Not like the uh, not like the Candyland one. 
I think the palette is pretty, but I don't think it's anything that I don't have in my collection. Now, of course, I would be buying it strictly because it would be Mulan, but she's not exactly my favorite Disney character. We're gonna go ahead and pass on this whole entire collection. It is available online right now if you guys are interested. I think most of it is sold out. I think the eyeshadow palette is still available. The blushes are still available. Um, and even the liquid lip and the lip gloss might be still be available. Um, but yeah, I think this whole thing is a pass for me. Now, Pat McGrath. <laughs> if you are a makeup junkie like me, Pat McGrath is freaking expensive, okay? The eyeshadow palette's like, what, $125, $129, something like that. I only have one, but it's not a big one. It is like six pan palettes, and I think I got it on sale. Okay, but they came out with a new eyeshadow palette and it is screaming my name, but I am trying my best not to get it because I don't think I need it. Uh, so this is the Mothership Rose Decadence eyeshadow palette and it is $65 and you get six shades. Six shades for $65, that hurts to say. It already hurts when I spend like $45 on an eyeshadow palette, but those are usually like what, at least 12 or 18 pan palettes, so I can justify it in my head. But if I see six eyeshadows for $65, they better change my life. <laughs> like I said, the Pat McGrath palette I have, I got on sale, so I did not pay $65 for it. Um, but dang, it's so pretty. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna say it's a pass. Now she also has some lip products on here. Just, I am never gonna buy a Pat McGrath lipstick. I just think they're com completely overpriced. Completely overpriced. So this is all gonna be a pass for me. Okay, so something new, it's by either a person or a brand I've never heard before. So this is uh, by Melops times the cut creaser. So whoever this is, is coming out with four different cut creasing brushes. Now I love cut creases, okay? Half cut creases, not full cut creases because I still haven't mastered that yet. But I've only ever been, been able to do it with like a flat brush that looks like this right here. Um, I don't know if, yeah, sorry. So it looks like this, it's, it's very, very flat, and I just cut my crease like that. However, this is really interesting. I've never seen anybody do it with brushes like this before. So you have one that looks like an angled brush, which actually looks like one that I could use to cut the crease. And then you have like these three very fine tip, almost looking like paint brushes to cut the crease. Now I've never seen anybody that or that I follow use brushes like this to cut the crease. So I would definitely be interested to see how these work. Maybe there's a new way I can cut my crease. <laughs> but I am just like, I don't know. I am so confused on how that anybody thing cuts the crease. I don't know, it beats me. But I would love to see like a little video on these or a little uh, promo. So these are like in a maybe category. Definitely has my interest peak because it's so different. Everybody comes out with skincare or, or makeup bath palettes or brushes or whatever. But these are cut creasing brushes. So that definitely piques my interest. So I'm gonna put these in a maybe category where I'm not gonna purchase it right away. And I'm not gonna say no. I just wanna see how they work. <laughs> So then we'll go from there. Have you guys ever used these type of brushes? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. All right, so Kylie Cosmetics is about to drop their summer collection. And I don't know about you guys, but when it starts to hit August, especially towards the end of August, for me personally, I'm already over the whole summer thing. So I really don't feel like if somebody, if it, if there's a brand that's about to come out with a summer collection, I feel like it should be um, before June and July or in June and July. When it comes to the end of August, I'm just like, I'm already ready for my fall. Like I'm ready for my pumpkin stuff. I'm ready for all the, the apple spice cinnamons and I wanna get ready for fall. Even though it's still hot outside, here in Georgia it is so hot, but 
I am over the summer by the end of August. Okay, so I'll admit the eyeshadow palette looks really pretty. Uh, if you take away that blue, then it's kind of just like every other eyeshadow palette that I, I have in my collection. So wouldn't be getting anything from there. The eyelashes, mm, not really my style. I don't know. This whole thing is a complete pass. Kyla Cosmetics already kind of rubbed me the wrong way a long time ago and I refused to buy from her website. So even if she did come out with anything that I liked, it would have to be in store at Ulta for me to buy it. But uh, there's nothing in here that's really screaming my name. So this whole thing is a pass. And like I said, even the fact that it's a summer collection is a pass for me because it's coming to the end of August. It's almost September. I'm ready for fall. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely, definitely ready. Don't give me any more summer collections. I'm over it. Okay, so I love Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. Um, they had the gingerbread palette last year, which I did not get. They had the pumpkin palette before. So I think this is the one from before that they're bringing back. Either way, I think the colors are in here are beautiful. I love the way that they make their palettes smell. I have their gingerbread uh, liquid lip, so I don't need that, but this is right up my alley. This is everything I need right now. I'm so ready for fall, you guys. This one makes me happy, so I definitely will be purchasing this one. Um, maybe I'll even do a eye tutorial with it when it finally comes in. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know if there's anything coming out that you guys have your eye on. If so, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.